Out of the 195 countries on earth, 70 of them grow and process coffee. That's about 9 million tons of coffee produced every year. All these countries cover a very specific area of the earth, a zone between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. We can break this zone down into three main areas, the Americas, Africa, and Asia. To grow coffee trees, we need warm temperate climates, abundance of rainfall, rich fertile soil. Even though there are over 100 known coffee species in the world, Arabica and Robusta make up about 99% of the world's coffee production. Many countries in this region grow coffee at high altitudes on volcanic soil rich in nutrients which gives the coffee beans distinctive flavors. Some other countries like Brazil grow coffee across vast humid lowlands which has permitted them to make use of machines during production resulting in shocking amounts of coffee produced every year. Most African countries grow coffee at high altitudes, sometimes beyond 2,000 meters above sea level. The abundance of rain, fertile soil, and a warm temperate climate makes Africa an ideal location to grow more top quality Arabica. Surprisingly, most countries in Africa still produce huge amounts of Robusta. Asian coffee is on fire right now. Sumatran Arabica is still one of the most distinctive coffees in the world. Coffee Baraco from the Philippines is beginning to show some true potential. India is producing huge amounts of coffee every single year. Yemen is making a huge comeback to the big stage. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Now, these regions have the ideal conditions required to grow coffee plants without compromising mass production, quality, and flavor profiles, and they all fall in a very specific zone of the earth. This zone is what we call the coffee belt.